Hi, Tom Freiberg from Water and Wastewater International magazine, coming to you from the show floor of IFAD in Zorga in Munich, Germany. I'm joined here by Mark Nolte, who is from ITT Water and Wastewater. Hi Mark, good to see you. Hi. Thanks for joining us. Now we're here to talk about some of the uh, product developments in the UV uh, side of the industry. Before we do, let's talk about some of the issues. Um, first of all, what about high operating costs of UV systems for plant owners and operators? Can you talk to us a bit more about that issue, please? Yeah. Well, basically you can say that nowadays 40% uh, of the operating costs usually come through usual maintenance, repair and exchange of uh, components. This does not include UV lamps or lamp replacement costs, so 40% of the total running costs of the life cycle costs of a system uh, relates to energy and uh, maintenance. And of course, uh, the uh, ITT's intention there is to, to work and develop a new product uh, like components like lamps and ballast cards uh, combined with uh, advanced service levels. And obviously the, the topic you mentioned of, of energy consumption is becoming such a big topic in consideration for plant owners and operators. But what about the requirements, and this leads on nicely, to sort of advanced service levels, system health checks and energy audits? How, how is the company getting involved in, in that? I think we're moving on from the classical service levels from the past, like preventive maintenance services, inspections and so on. Nowadays, the modern types of service levels include uh, health checks, efficiency audits or plant optimization audits that result in energy saving potential, uh, combining both new developments of components but also the advanced services. And this has been specifically over the last couple of years more so, would you say, the more, a, a real recent development? Yeah, I think uh, ITT WeatherCo has changed its philosophy in the last two to three years, being more aftermarket focused, uh, running this, uh, concentrating with the developments also on existing customers and not only on pure new product developments. Thanks, Mark. And, and how does ITT really differentiate itself from the rest of the market? I think this advanced service, or we call it the total care service concept that we use is, uh, and we offer to our end users is the, the main differentiator that we, first of all, don't just offer components like UV lamps in replacement, also service levels to optimize the plants. Next to that, I think that the continuous product development for the installed base, the existing end users, and not just purely for new customers and for new markets and new products is also our focus that we want to look on, that we always have an offering also for the existing customer base. Thanks, Mark.